Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Loveth and today we'll be discussing about Finland scholarship. I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide, uh, like a bit of uh, more vivid information about this um, uh, scholarship. And I have taken my time to research on the universities here in Finland that has this scholarship to offer. And I have eight universities here. We have University of Eastern Finland, which is the university that I will be using to show you a bit more on my laptop screen about this scholarship. And then we have Universities of Tampere, and we have uh, Alto University, we have Arboy Academy University, and we have this Uvascular University, Lapland University, Turku University and the University of Arts here in Helsinki. So these universities offer Finland scholarship. So I'm going to walk you through now using the University of Eastern Finland as an example of what this scholarship looks like and what it entails. So let's take a look. Here we are in this university and we are going to try to look for the scholarship programs that they have. It's always easier and faster for you to just search in. So we are going to put in here scholarship. So it gives us this 12 pages uh, result and this is like tuition fees, waivers and scholarship. This is what we're looking for. We click that. And it brings us to this page. Today's video is about this Finland scholarships. We choose that and here it gives a bit detail on what the scholarship is all about. Uh, it's a scholarship grant that is given by Finland. Uh, it's called Finland scholarship and here it reads and it comes with a grant of 5,000 euros which it reads here and it's most for uh, master's degree program applicants here and the scholarship is granted for the first year of master's studies and for non-EU and EEA citizens so this is for us so and the total value of the scholarship is uh, uh, 13,000 to 15,000 euros depending on the program and the Finland scholarship includes includes 100% tuition waiver for the first year tuition fee, which is here, between eight to ten thousand euros, and a relocation grant of five thousand euros. This money, according to this relocation grant, according to them, is paid in when you are already here in Finland and about to start your studies so you have accounts here in Finland where they are going to pay this in so nobody is getting it in advance but you will get it and the first one year your admission your tuition is going to be taken care of scholarship in the first one year master students for the second year of the study students need to secure sufficient fund themselves however the programs general tuition waivers will be offered for the second year every the thing about this um, schools is that every school has its own scholarship waiver so most of them are so that you have to score 55 get 55 credits out of the first year and then you are granted a whole waiver of the next second year uh, tuition fee so even though this is like for the first year and of course the extra grants but you still get to get this second year uh, scholarship waiver through the school's scholarship program this is no longer from Finland scholarship yes but that's possible the finland scholarship will be granted until 2024 it started in 2022 which is this year from study starting in august the first and it's going to be until 2024 so students who apply for masters starting in 2025 are not eligible so this is like a temporary uh, a temporary offer from the national finland scholarship program which is funding this um, this uh, scholarship here in Finland and then here says who can apply for the scholarship uh, prospective students who are non-EU and EEA citizens liable to pay tuitions and apply to master's level studies who study rights 
starts not earlier than the 1st of August 2022. So here. And how to apply? Application is like alongside the when you are applying for the study place in uh, study info. When you make the application, you as well feel for filling a space for this um, finished grant request. So, and here it says about Finland scholarship at University of Eastern Finland. The scholarship is paid in one installment after the student has res registered as being present at UEF and of course the money the student needs to study on campus the students must have a Finnish bank account where the 5000 grants will be paid into and and so on and so forth so this is like aware of them securing that you are actually studying and being present before you get this um, scholarship which of course makes sense so here is Finland scholarship can be granted in these universities of Eastern Finland programs here is philosophical faculty in this faculty they have early language education for intercultural com communication masters of art education and here they have English language and culture masters of arts and on and on and here is faculty of science and forestry biology and environmental changes masters of science and so on these are programs where you can get this grant in this university here in Finland this particular one faculty of healthcare of health sciences you have a biomedicines masters of science general toxicology masters of science and on and faculty of social sciences and business studies they have like environmental policy and law and the rest of it so here is like those that can apply for this in this University of Eastern Finland. Then how to apply for the tuition waiver and the Finland scholarship. Let's just click that and it says we recommend that prospective applicants apply for both Finland scholarship and the university scholarship at the same time. So it's like through the study info application website when applying. That is their own recommendation. So you try to follow that if you're applying to this university so guys i hope you were able to pick one or two things about this scholarship it is out there it's great and another thing is that i need to mention is that it says that it's for those students or intending students that has good grades amongst the applicants when they talk about somebody that is the best or two best students uh, it's usually in comparison with the nature of the applicants that the school has received it doesn't necessarily mean they didn't say anything about having a first class in your degree they didn't say anything about having a 2-1 having a high GP they just said that it has to do if you are the best among the applicants so your 2-1 could be the best amongst all the applicants that apply within this period that you going to apply so it is very important to note that because people always imagine now it's not gonna be me I don't have a first class you don't have to have a first class to be uh, the best among some group of applicants because you do not know the kind of grades those applicants do have so don't lower your grade don't feel oh it's not for me apply it could be yours so for you thanks again for watching if you're new here please subscribe and comment so i get the motivation to continue to provide these important information to your table i have lots of video for you to watch very educative very informative if you haven't seen any other of my videos i think you should mm -hmm. all right thank you so much once again and see you guys in my next video. Bye!